Well, for decades, the St. Ignatius Hospital in Colfax has been abandoned, gaining a local and national reputation as a so-called haunted hotel. But this year, two new owners have taken up the task of renovating the historic site from a ghost story to a success story. Joshua Robinson takes us inside. We play this game when we drive where you look at buildings and you think like empty buildings and you say, well, what would you put in there? Austin and Laura Storm don't see the abandoned St. Ignatius Hospital in the way that most of us see it. We just got guys in this week starting on drawing the actual like details of the building as it stands right now. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. All, all we want to do is just overlay a sheet of tracing paper and just start drawing out ideas. More than seven years ago, Austin and Laura made their first move toward buying the haunted hospital property as ghost hunters and thrill seekers flocked to Colfax to check it out for themselves. Even though I don't have my own um, supernatural encounter stories, uh, we've heard a lot of things from people, and we love that there, that's a way that people interact with the building. But instead of filling them with fear, the legendary hospital now fills the pair with joy and possibility. We were just struck with it, and I mean like truly, well and truly struck by it. Like I think almost to the point of tears. We were just like, we can't believe this is here. It's incredibly beautiful. What are the plans for it? Who's doing anything with it? No one, no one. And so nearly seven years to the day after their first trip through St. Ignatius on April 23rd of 2021, they officially became its new owners. And they find something new that they love on every new trip they take. You can see the history in the room that it was this operating theater. Um, and you've got this incredible view of the town. So they just stuck them out on the edge of the building and crossed their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> How you Sorry. doing? And whether it becomes a hotel, a restaurant, an event center, or a series of studios, Austin and Laura's goal is to restore St. Ignatius into something everyone in the community can enjoy. To see it in such a bad state, it really feels like something is wrong, and we hope to bring it back to life. Joshua Robinson, Crem2 News. Certainly looking forward to see what they do with it.